Having all of these entitlements, a good question is what happens if a person has more than one permission group assigned? We don't think about how this is assigned. Let's just assume there is somewhere an identity and this identity gets a lot of permissions out of whatever else permission groups. If we are talking about more than one, the question is how that will work. And the general answer is it will work as an additional permission. That means all permission you get from different permission groups will at the end deliver the sum of permissions a person gets. That means if you get some permissions somewhere in a permission group and this permission group is yours, you will get the permission. There are nowhere something like deny permissions. That means permission who will revoke others. With that, the sum of all permissions of all permission groups you get is the sum of permissions you have. You can see that as well on the slide. Because there are three permission groups assigned, the plus shows always a permission you have and the position is the particular entitlement. At the end you see the resulting permission set is the sum out of all permissions that are assigned here. Yes, of course, this is only a model and we are not talking about real existing particular permissions, but it should help you to understand what happens. In addition to table and column permissions we already saw, there exists the specific set permissions. That means that what we name the where conditions. Where conditions exist to allow to add permissions to a specific subset of data. Remember my example from the past, there are person objects and you should only be allowed to edit people where the last name starts from A down to where the last name starts with D. To do so, you need something we call the where clauses or the subset permissions. Subset permissions could be assigned for viewing, deleting, updating, something like that. And they are defined on the object class level. That means on the table level from a database structure perspective. The question now is what happens if you are in more than one group with these subset permissions and the subset permissions are different. The answer is like before. The addition of all of that will at the end lead to the effect. That means the maximum permission set is given to yourself. On the screen you can see different permission groups, three of them. Every of these permission groups will have a different condition. There are two viewing conditions, different viewing conditions and there is one editing condition. I think it's not really surprising us that the result set says the viewing permissions gets assigned with an or between. That means the one it's in the same way valid than the other and you get the edit where clause set as well. Last but not least the question is what happens if there is no condition set on a specific object class. I think it's not surprising us that this is the standard and typically all objects are affected. That means if there is no condition defined then the permission that is set is valid for every object. The very last question is what happens if conditions and permissions are working together. At the end what we expect. They all get summed up. To show that you can see on the screen two permission groups. Both permission groups comes with a condition and both permission groups comes with some entitlements. To make it easy we just assume that the condition is just one data action. That means both conditions are for the same data action defined. What happens at the end is between the conditions there is an or. So that means objects are affected for one where clause or the other. In difference to the or for the conditions, the permission sets are now defined for the specific condition. That means all particular entitlements assigned to permission group 1 for condition 1 are valid for all objects following condition 1. All other entitlements assigned using permission group 2 with condition 2 are only valid for the subset of data which is defined by condition 2. Both together it's the complete set of permissions a particular person will get. Of course, there's not only one condition defined. As we know, we can define four of them per base object. One to see the data, which is our viewing condition. One to edit the data. One to delete and one to insert data. The last question is what happens with objects not included in these conditions? As long there is no permission group assigned without any condition defined, only in the condition included data objects will be permitted as set on the permission group. Once there is this particular permission group assigned without having conditions, all other objects, that means the objects who are not part of the both conditions we talked first about, all of these objects gets permitted in the way that is defined for that 
third particular permission group. And that is because, remember from the last slide, that a not set condition always affects all objects. Be careful with that configuration, because if you add such a group to your set of permission groups, that could overrule all the others, because of the added up permission set. Let's have a last example to make pretty clear what I'm talking about. There are three permission groups in total. One permission group without any condition. The second and the third permission group comes with the same condition. And they just define in the first permission group the objects for that permission for reading and the other objects for this permission for editing. With that, for these two particular permission groups, all included objects are allowed to be seen and allowed to be modified. Now, the third group gets added to the set. This group did not have any permission, but it have insert and delete permissions defined for this base object, which means the table. Having that, you will now have two subset conditions with viewing and edit permissions, plus one permission group for all objects defined because of the missing condition, with delete and insert permissions as well. With this, you will have a full permission set for all objects included in the condition. And for all other objects, insert and delete permissions. Again, this is only an example that should illustrate how these permission sets works. We do have a lot of other entitlements as well. For example, you are allowed to get access to forms, you are allowed to get access to features and reports and whatever. And all of this comes on top of table and column permissions.